Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. Nevada just dropped a bombshell that's going to put Tesla's electric semi-truck on the fast lane to domination. And at the same time, Hyundai has come out with their next hydrogen class 8 semi-truck. And when you do the comparison between these two zero emission trucks, the choice becomes so obvious. You are not going to believe the cost saving a company can do here. If you think Tesla is dominating the race of electric passenger vehicles, well, you have seen nothing yet. Just wait until Tesla get the semi truck to high volume, because the demand will be pretty much endless. The whole world is going to want one. And in Nevada, it's going to be the biggest no brainer in the transportation sector. So buckle up because we're going on one hell of a ride. And if you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and zap that notification bell to stay charged with the latest in the electrifying world of EVs. And let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So, you probably know there are huge incentives for electric semi-trucks in many states around the US. But Nevada just made sure that Tesla will sell all their semi-trucks they can and can produce right there in that state of Nevada where Tesla builds them. The governor, Joe Lombardo, signed Assembly Bill 184, the Nevada Clean Truck and Bus Incentive Program, into law this month. It provides incentive for Nevada-based businesses and public organizations who own gas and diesel-powered trucks and buses to switch to electric vehicles. There are different incentives depending on the type of truck it is, but the heaviest cross-vehicle weight rating is the Class 8 truck and has a base incentive of $175,000. I don't expect Tesla to keep their original price of the semi-truck from 2019 of 150 dollars $180,000, but let's just say they're going to sell them for about $250,000. That would mean that businesses would be able to buy a Tesla semi truck in Nevada for only $75,000. That is less than your Tesla Model S or the Tesla Model X. This could make sure that every single business in Nevada is going to want to buy a Tesla semi truck. We already know it will pay itself off in maintenance and fuel cost in something like three years. Now Nevada businesses are going to pay it off in something like eight months, making this the biggest no-brainer in the transportation sector. And it will of course not just help Tesla sell semi-trucks in Nevada, but it will also be very good for the air quality in Nevada. John Pacman, Policy Director of Nevada Public Health Association said, Public health organizations across Nevada support the incentive in zero emission transportation because we know it is critical to improve air quality. Establishing the Nevada Clean Truck and Buses Incentive Program will reduce harmless greenhouse gas emissions and protect the air we breathe. Very true, as truck in the US only stands for 1.1% of the vehicle fleet, but stands for almost 20% of the emission and 36% of the particular emission. So very important to get away from these fossil fuel trucks that is really polluting the air in our cities. So hydrogen will of course also get this incentive and would of course be a great alternative to the diesel truck. And once again, GM could have been the leader in hydrogen as well. General Motors built their hydrogen fuel cell Electrovan in 1966. Yet, at no time in the last 57 years has the most common element in the universe merited even the notional optimism of give it five more years and it'll take hold. So 30 years before GM made the EV1, they actually made the hydrogen van. And hydrogen has still gone nowhere. 
And again, GM could have been the leader in both technologies, but crushed both ideas literally. But just like the passenger car, the hydrogen truck has just been overtaken by Tesla's pure electric semi-truck. It was a good alternative to fossil fuel, but never caught on before it was taken over by a new technology. Just like I explained before, like the mini disc was a great alternative to the CD, but died quickly as the MP3 player came along. Because Hyundai has been making hydrogen cars for many years and has now come out with their new hydrogen truck, the Exeunt Class 8 semi truck. But let's just try to compare that with Tesla's fully electric semi truck. So Hyundai's Exeunt Class 8 hydrogen truck only has about 483 horsepower. Tesla's Class 8 semi truck has over a thousand horsepower from its three plat motors. The Exeunt top speed is only 57 miles per hour, where the Tesla Sigma truck travel uphill at a 5% grading and still achieve 65 miles per hour. Yeah, when it comes to performance, Tesla Sigma truck is truly a step change from the old diesel truck, but also a step change from the hydrogen truck. They cannot compete on any performance metrics. And we can't even compare the inside of these two trucks. I mean, look at Hyundai's brand new 2023 BlackBerry. Safety is of course also a concern. And Tesla has made the safest truck ever made with all its innovation with armored glass and best on the market safety assist features, impossible to jackknife and regenerated braking downhill so no overheating of the brake. So a very, very safe truck. The Exeunt holds 10 hydrogen tanks at over 10,000 PSI. The consequence of a tank rupturing could be catastrophic to say the least. 10 hydrogen tanks just behind the cab. The tanks hold a volume of a little over 462 gallons of compressed hydrogen at over 10,000 PSI. You don't want to be in that cockpit if one of these tanks burst, or you will be taking your first trip to the moon. We have seen examples of high pressure tanks bursting before, and it is quite scary. So I don't want to be the one sitting with my back against 10 tanks at over 10,000 PSI. It is literally madness. If a battery catches fire in an electric vehicle, you usually have time to get away, but not in the case of the hydrogen car. But what about filling up? This is something people have been talking about with the hydrogen as one of the best features. It can fill up much faster than your electric vehicle. Well, the Exeon has a claimed range of 450 miles on a full tank. But get this, refilling from empty to full takes about 30 minutes. Tesla has a range of 500 miles fully loaded and can recharge 350 miles in only 30 minutes. And Tesla semi truck can just charge overnight at the factory. You can't do that with your hydrogen truck. You need to go to the hydrogen station and waste your time. So not really much of a benefit with the hydrogen truck here either. And the price of filling up is probably where most companies would draw the line. The Exxon hydrogen truck with 462 gallon of compressed hydrogen, a total of 151 kilos of hydrogen that cost around $15 per kilo. That is 2021 prices, but that has not changed much. So that will cost you $2,265 to fill up your Exxon hydrogen truck. And as 98% of all hydrogen made today is made on fossil fuel, it will probably rise in price when we are forced to make green hydrogen, as this is much more expensive than gray hydrogen. So this is the best case scenario right now. We don't know what the exact size of Tesla's semi-truck battery is, but from the 500 miles we know it can do fully loaded, as Tesla has shown in the video where they filmed the whole trip, and the efficiency the truck should have according to Elon Musk, a very good guess of the battery size is around 850 kilowatt hours. And in Nevada, the price of electricity is 18 cents per kilowatt hour, actually one cent more than the national average. But let's just go with Nevada's price as we're talking about their incentives in this video. Well, it would cost about $153 
to fill up your Tesla semi truck. If your company doesn't have a roof full of solar panels, of course, so they can charge for free as it's being loaded at the factory. And we don't know the price of the hydrogen truck, but my guess is it will be much more expensive to buy as we know it from the hydrogen cars compared to electric vehicles. So if you own a company and you have to buy a truck, will you buy the one that costs more upfront but doesn't give you any advantages and doesn't even give you more range? It can fill up a tiny bit faster, which is actually irrelevant as truckers need to make stops anyway by law. So getting 350 miles of range in 30 minutes in your Tesla Sigma truck will be more than fast enough. But the maintenance of a hydrogen truck will also be more expensive. And every time you fill up from 0 to 100%, you will pay almost 15 times more to get about 50 miles less range as if you filled up your Tesla Sigma truck from 0 to 100%. And then imagine you are Pepsi that has nearly 10,000 big rigs and you save about $2,112 every time you fill it up once. That is more than $21 million saved filling up your fleet just once. And with a fleet of Tesla Sigma trucks instead, they will even get 500,000 more miles out of this $21 million savings as Tesla Sigma trucks have 50 miles more range. No wonder Pepsi was willing to wait five years on the first Tesla semi trucks. If you are CFO of a company and you're going to buy the Hyundai Exeon over the Tesla Sigma truck, you should be giving the boot straight away and should never be allowed to do financials of any company ever again. The hydrogen car has never made sense, even though it has been around since 1966. And the hydrogen truck just gets dumber and dumber the more we learn. The hydrogen truck is not a reliable business case. You might be able to fool a few private person with their hydrogen car. But companies are numbers driven. They will put all their numbers into their little spreadsheets and see what a ridiculous business case a hydrogen truck is compared to a Tesla semi truck. And we are about one year away from Tesla bringing the semi truck to high volume in production. So the sun has already set for the hydrogen truck before it even had a chance to shine. But if you hardly have made any progress in 57 years, it is probably a good time to say goodbye to that technology. So there is a new era in the world of trucking and Nevada is leading the charge towards a cleaner and more sustainable future with their huge incentive. And Tesla is leading the charge with producing the truck of the future right there at the Nevada factory. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>